It's a continuation of three, except now they want us to, they gave us a whole bunch of numbers. And I'm writing them a little bigger because they're kind of small and hard to see. So we're going to follow order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That means that I'm going to have to do the stuff in the parentheses first. So remember, we're going to say, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And what that means is we do parentheses first, exponent second, multiplication and division are the same thing, so we go from left to right. And addition are, and subtraction are kind of the same thing, so again, we go from left to right. So I have some parentheses here and here. Let's take care of that first. The one half remains the same. When I multiply by, well, I said the answer before. When I divide by a fraction, what I really want to do is multiply by the reciprocal, right? So I flip and switch. We'll come back to that in a second. Now this one I can multiply straight across, but five divided by five is one, and five divided by five is one. So I can cross cancel the fives and leave them with one and one. So this becomes 4 over 6, right, because 4 times 1 is 4. 1 times 6 is 6. 4 over 6 reduces to 2 thirds. So then what I, mean, what I want to do is this I could just multiply straight across. So I've got 1 half plus 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 3 is 9 minus 2 over 3. Here's the problem. I need the common denominator of 2, 9, and 3. Well, the common denominator is 18. It's going to have to be 18. So I'm going to have something over 18 plus something over 18 minus something over 18. So this one gets multiplied by 9 because 2 times 9 is 18. Whatever I do on the bottom, I have to do to the top. So that becomes 9 over 18 is the same as 1 half. This one, in order to get 18, I've got to multiply 9 by 2. Whatever I do on the bottom, I have to do to the top. So this becomes 16 over 18. And then lastly, I've got to multiply this by 6. And whatever I do on the bottom, I have to do to the top. So this becomes 12 over 18. Sorry, I'm going kind of fast. But this should be a review, right? You've graduated from high school, or you're in high school. Um, OK, so we added all up. Uh, remember, when we're adding left to right, we just, or when we're adding or subtracting, we just go left to right. So 9 plus 16 is 25 minus 12 is 13. So my final answer is 13 over 18. Let's see.